Right, here we have a very basic, simple motorized turntable. This was based on one that Mr. Pete recently made on his channel. He based his on, uh, the, uh, he gutted a microwave oven and used the microwave oven turntable motor and the glass plate and the spider to produce his powered turntable. Mine is very similar, except that I purchased a microwave turntable motor off of eBay. They are cheap as chips. There's hundreds of them on there. I think I paid about eight pounds for my motor. I also bought a spider, which is the bit that the plate sits on. And we'll have a look at that now. And that was about four pounds. I'll take this off. Oh, the, the turntable, this platter here, this was uh, from an old record deck. Now I saved this, you know, I. The record deck died years and years ago, and, and I, I thought this, this very nice brushed aluminium uh, turntable would be useful for something, so I just saved it, and it's been sat in my, you know, scrap box for, for years. But it's perfect for this, because it's, you know, it's obviously it's a nice solid aluminium platter. So that's that bit. And then, we'll have a look, close in on here. And as you can see, this is the, 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 the bit the plate would normally rest on. On a, on a on a microwave in a microwave now i've made a few mods to it basically it's had a couple of uh, rubber grommets glued onto the end here to support the actual aluminium platter and i've also added uh, this flat bearing here uh, which basically just gives the middle a bit of extra support this was off of my original uh, manual uh, wooden turntable and again i upgraded the bearing on that because this one was on that turntable wasn't very good. Tended the table tended to rock, so I put um, one of these Lazy Susan larger type bearings on that, and it improved it no end. But this makes a good central support for the for for the spider. And the other mod I did was uh, on the ends here uh, of the spiders. Originally, there were these little tiny plastic wheels, and the, and they just they just clipped on basically like that. I've replaced them with an exactly the same size. Uh, ball race bearing and they're, they're literally cheap as chips they cost a few pounds off of ebay these really are cheap and obviously this thing runs a lot better than the, the little tiny plastic wheel and it will take a lot more weight so yeah so that basically sits in there oops sits in there like that and enga engages with the uh, with with the actual motor let's get it around the right way because it's got a uh, as you can see it's got a star shaped engagement dog so that basically just goes in there like that. So we'll take that off for a minute. Uh, zoom out. Flip the table up. Flip, flip this up. So this is just an open box, really. Um, and there you go. So come up a bit. There's your microwave turntable motor on a few pillars to get, get to get it the right spacing. And mains cord, there's an inline switch on the mains cord so I can turn it on and off. Um, this box bit here was basically made from some scrap wood that I had in my scrap box. And I bought a sheet of, I think this is six mil ply uh, to, make, to make the top. And, and, and that's it. Yeah, very cheap, very simple. Let's get a, a model to put on there so you can see it in action. There we go with the Wien 49. Now that's a heavy, heavy engine. So, and it coats with that quite well. I think it might be a little bit too fast, the uh, rotational speed, but I'm not, I'm not too unhappy with it. The it worked okay with the original little wheels on the on the plate spider, but it did sometimes tend to stick. Every now and again it would catch and it wouldn't rotate as smoothly as I liked. And changing those out for the ball race bearings just improved it no end. So it, it, you get a really nice smooth rotation no matter how much weight you put on the table. So yeah, there you go. Very, very cheap, very simple. Works like a charm. And uh, I'll say I'll put a link in the video description to uh, a video that Mr. Pete did that showed his turntable. And the other nice thing about this is the they're very quiet. These microwave turntable motors, very, very, very quiet. You can barely hear them. I'll put the microphone near it so you can give you an idea. So 
So you see, it doesn't make any, hardly any noise at all. So it's perfect for when you're using it to shoot videos like this. Okay, that's it. Quick look at my new motorized turntable. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.